Welcome to this course on transition metal organometrics in catalysis and biology. We have been discussing about olefin polymerization uh, and in this uh, uh, context we have been uh, talking about uh, olefin classification or polyolefin classification uh, depend from various uh, aspects. For example, from the polymer uh, perspective or from uh, the polymer property point of view, uh, we had uh, spoken about various classification that exists uh, for polyolefin polymers, namely thermoplastic uh, materials, duroplast, elastomers, uh, 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 elastoplastic materials or thermoplastic elastomers and reversible duroplast. Again from the polyolefin uh, uh, perspective we have uh, in, uh, with regard to polyethylene, uh, we have looked at uh, uh, how many different types uh, they come in and they come in three varieties which is LDP linear a, a low density polyethylene, it can be LLDP linear low density polyethylene or HDP high density polyethylene. So, uh, if polyethylene are graded based on the density of the uh, polymer of stand and in that there are three varieties. Now, having uh, discussed uh, uh, the polymer classification from uh, polymer perspective or from polymer uh, type point of view. Uh, then we moved on to uh, looking, uh, uh, looking at the po uh, polymer classification from a chemistry perspective, particularly from uh, the point of view of the process through which they are synthesized as well as uh, from the point of view of mechanism through which they are synthesized. So, in this category uh, we have uh, spoken uh, uh, for about two types of classification, one is condensation polymer as well as addition polymer. These are from the perspective of the process by which uh, these polymers were synthesized. Similarly, uh, from the mechanism that is followed uh, to produce this polymer and from this pers perspective there are two types uh, which is uh, 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 step growth or the chain growth polymer. So, so uh, we have been uh, talking in the last class about the process perspective. which is uh, condensation polymer and addition polymer and from the uh, mechanism perspective the two uh, uh, types of polymer are chain growth polymer and step growth uh, step growth polymer. Now, in this context we have uh, uh, studied uh, uh, the condensation polymer in great detail in the uh, previous class and we saw that many, uh, 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 many important commercially important polymer like nylon, uh, polyester, polycarbonate polymers are synthesized. Uh, uh, using uh, this condensation polymer and uh, these are mainly a, a monomers which are polyfunctionalized and there can be more than one type particularly of two type like dio, uh, diamine diacid or diol diacid or diol diacid diamine diacid or uh, um, uh, diol uh, uh, acid chlorides uh, for making this kind of uh, um, uh, polycarb uh, 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 condensation polymer. Now, having discussed the condensation polymer in great detail uh, in the previous uh, uh, lecture, what we are going to uh, be doing today is to uh, look into the other uh, process based uh, polymer particularly um, uh, 
uh, this addition follow, uh, polymer and its example and followed by the other two classification that uh, which is classification based on mechanism that is the chain growth polymer and the strep growth polymer. So, having said this let us now move on to discuss about this addition uh, polymer classification. Now, addition polymers are the ones or the polymers that are formed from monomers without any loss of a small molecule unlike the case uh, with condensation uh, uh, polymers. In the condensation polymer, uh, uh, the condensation reaction uh, within the monomer resulted in formation of some uh, a small molecule at the byproduct. However, in case of addition poly, uh, polymer, uh, the uh, reaction between monomer does not lead to formation of any byproduct. Addition, addition polymers are formed from monomers without the loss of a small molecule. And uh, uh, the other biggest advantage uh, or characteristic of this addition polymer is that the uh, repeating unit uh, 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 has the same composition uh, as the monomer. Whereas, uh, 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 in condensation uh, polymer the repeating unit is not exactly of the same composition as the monomer because a small molecule has uh, come out of it. So, uh, uh, another important characteristics of addition polymer is that unlike unlike condensation polymers the repeating unit of an addition polymer has the same composition as the monomer. So, uh, an example of this kind of polymerization is given below mainly the poly, uh, polyethylene uh, polymerization is an example of this addition polymerization or the, uh, the uh, uh, vinyl monomers uh, 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 were formed mainly through or uh, polymerized mainly through this process. N C H 2 C H Y upon polymerization gives C H 2 C H Y N. So, these are uh, 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 vinyl polymerization uh, using vinyl monomer unit. So, uh, what we see is uh, that uh, polymers can be uh, characterized based on uh, the uh, method in which uh, Mm, they are polymerized one mainly is a uh, condensation method where elimination of small molecule occur then the other is just an addition method where the small molecule does not occur and polyvinyl uh, polymers or polyethylene polymers are a result of this addition uh, polymerization. And another important characteristics of this uh, addition polymer uh, 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 is the fact that uh, the composition of the repeat unit of the polymer uh, which is shown over here 
uh, uh, this is the repeat union of the polymer, uh, this is exactly same as the monomer composition and that is says, said over here repeat union of the addition polymer has the same composition as the monomer. So, this and these two compositions are, are, are same. So, uh, now uh, uh, we are going to uh, look at another type of polymer uh, classi uh, classification uh, mainly from the mechanistic point of view and these are the step growth and um, uh, chain growth mechanism. And this classification is mainly based on the uh, pathway which is used for making uh, these long chain polymers from the monomers. So, uh, let us uh, first start from uh, the step growth polymerization. Uh, so, what, uh, actu uh, what really distinguish uh, between the step growth and the chain growth is the uh, mechanism uh, by which the step growth uh, polymers are formed. Uh, this is illustrated uh, uh, or this is best explained in the definition that follows. Strip growth polymerization proceed by uh, a stepwise reaction between functional groups of the reactant between the functional group of the reactant shown below. Uh, what it means that the uh, polymerization proceeds slowly from monomer to dimer to tetramer, pentamer, so on and so forth. it implies that the poly polymerization proceeds in multiple steps. on going from monomer to dimer to trimer, tetramer, pentamer and so this a uh, uh, can be illustrated below. For example, first uh, monomer will react with another monomer to give dimer, then dimer react can react with another monomer to give trimer. Dimer 
can also react with another dimer to give tetramer uh, uh, trimer can react with monomer give tetramer trimer can react with dimer to give pentamer trimer can react with another trimer gives hexamer and this uh, thing uh, proceeds. So, uh, this polymerization uh, uh, what uh, proceeds in steps and as a result of the each steps uh, the, uh, the size of the polymer keeps increasing like the time uh, as uh, dimer then trimer then tetramer pentamer hexamer the size of the polymer uh, keeps increasing and um, uh, this uh, 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 can be uh, uh, reflected uh, uh, if uh, where if one were to measure the uh, polymer uh, molecular weight uh, 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 with the uh, percent conversion for uh, this kind of uh, step growth uh, polymer. So, uh, if one were to uh, look at uh, the molecular weight of the polymer as a function of percent conversion of the monomer. So, this is 0 percent to 100 percent uh, then what is observed over here is that uh, the molecular weight uh, sort of uh, increases, but increases slowly. It is only in the end uh, that there is a sharp increase in molecular weight happen uh, uh, when uh, the longer uh, chain oligomer uh, they react with each other uh, to give even uh, further, uh, 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 further even further more longer uh, chain oligomers. So, there is a, uh, a characteristic uh, trajectory uh, which is uh, uh, known for uh, this kind of step growth uh, polymerization where uh, the molecular weight uh, uh, increases slowly uh, with converge in the beginning of the uh, reaction, but however, towards the end of the reaction the molecular weight uh, sort of increases drastically as the longer chains uh, uh, poly uh, react and polymerize uh, to give even longer uh, chain. So, this is a characteristic feature um, of this kind of step growth uh, polymerization. Now, we are going to look at the other uh, polymerization process which is called uh, the ch uh, chain growth polymerization. Now, in chain growth uh, the, uh, the polymer does not uh, uh, grow like a chain where each of the, uh, the chain length gradually grows uh, with each of the mon monomer are adding to the uh, singular chain and the chain keeps on increasing. So, this chain growth polymer requires initiator. So, uh, chain, chain growth polymer requires an initiator uh, uh, initiator from which is produced an initiator species uh, 
are dashed or with a reactive center. And the chain growth takes place like in a chain, the chain growth occurs like in a chain and this polymerization occurs by propagation of the reactive center by successive addition of large number of monomers in a chain reaction. So, uh, uh, this is uh, sort of uh, explained in this cartoon as is shown here. So, for example, if this is a chain with a reactive propagation center and to this one monomer comes along, uh, this monomer, uh, this monomer then gets added uh, to this uh, polymer chain generating another re, uh, reactive center and the species would then be so uh, this uh, uh, monomer uh, would get inserted and then subsequently another uh, monomer would come and insert so the chain uh, uh, has increased by this much in uh, the monomer length when uh, the second monomer would come and insert this is way and the uh, cycle uh, propagates. Uh, it is important to note that uh, these chain growth uh, polymers It is a, 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 the, uh, the, uh, this uh, uh, addition uh, in chain growth polymers. Growth polymerization addition of large number of molecules of a large number of, of monomers in a chain reaction chain back uh, polymer chain backbone happen fast in a matter of seconds and a large uh, uh, molecular weight chain, polymer chain are formed fast. Uh, this also uh, has a, a trajectory a polymer molecular weight and percent conversion per, 
and what has been found is that the molecular weight is uh, uh, does not change with the percent conversion uh, because uh, 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 it just forms the equal uh, length polymer uh, uh, no matter what uh, uh, how the reaction proceeds. So, these uh, uh, two graphs the one in which for the step growth the other for the chain growth uh, 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 that sort of as a function of a variation of molecular weight as a function of percent conversion of the monomer uh, tells uh, us insight as to what me mechanism is proceeding. Now, there is a, uh, a third uh, uh, type of polymerization uh, 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 which is a sort of a living polymerization uh, and uh, they are mainly uh, seen in biology. Uh, certain polymerization show linear increase of molecular weight with conversion and uh, so uh, these are sort of uh, living polymerization and uh, are uh, seen in the biological and are observed in biological synthesis of protein and for them the uh, uh, the uh, characteristics of uh, uh, plot of molecular weight versus percent conversion is slightly different. percent conversion and uh, uh, for, uh, uh, for this uh, the trajectory which is uh, observed uh, of the molecular weight is something uh, like this that the molecular weight increases uh, um, uh, uh, with uh, uh, the percent conversion and these are mainly seen for biological system uh, or where the polymerization is uh, living when the monomer comes the chain further keeps on adding. So, with this we come to the end of uh, today's uh, uh, lecture which was primarily polymer classification from a chemistry perspective particularly from a process perspective where we discussed about uh, this uh, condensation polymer and the addition polymer with examples. Then uh, we also looked at uh, how the uh, uh, mechanistic uh, classification uh, about polymerization uh, uh, would vary and in this from mechanistic classification we have seen that the uh, polymers can be a, a, a classified into two types one is the step growth as well as uh, the chain growth and uh, for each of these uh, step growth and chain growth we, uh, we have discussed their characteristic molecular weight versus person percent conversion curves uh, in uh, um, step growth uh, polymerization uh, uh, there is a sudden increase in higher molecular weight towards the end of the conversion and sort of uh, the exponential uh, the curve sort of uh, stays gently increases in the beginning uh, of the conversion whereas towards the end it rises sharply whereas for the chain growth uh, what we saw that uh, uh, the molecular weight uh, is uh, kind of uh, uh, fixed uh, and does not change with percent conversion and lastly we, talk, uh, we had spoken about uh, biological processes where certain polymerization show increase uh, molecular weight with percent conversion and these are sort of polymerization which are living in nature and they are seen in biology particularly uh, with regard to protein synthesis. So, with this uh, I conclude uh, uh, today's discussion on chain uh, uh, poly uh, polymer classification and we are going to be uh, uh, discussing more on this olefin polymerization as we uh, uh, meet next. Uh, till then, goodbye and thank you.